Hi, I'm Nelson Burmish with Exit Real Estate Consultants here in beautiful Lexington, South Carolina. And today I'm going to be talking about property taxes. Uh, when I'm showing homes, a lot of my clients will be asking how much the property taxes are, so it's not an uncommon question. Uh, a lot of these times we can, we can find out from the property records if it's a single family, if it's a legal residence, then we can pull all those off our records. But in the case if it's a new construction, there's no history on it, so we'll have to go to our Lexington County website to figure out what the taxes are for that. Or if it's an investment property, the millage rates are going to be slightly different for that property as well. So we're going to find all this uh, information out from the Lexington County website. And uh, here you go. Let me show you how it works. Hi, this is Nelson Burmis with Exit Real Estate Consultants here in Lexington, South Carolina. And today we're going to be talking about taxes. Of course, you'll have to pay those uh, taxes in your mortgage payment. And uh, a lot of my clients uh, ask me how much are the taxes for this property will be. And uh, normally, we usually look at the tax records that's recorded on the MLS. But in the case if it's an investment property, if it's new construction, or if you want to know if, if, was a, if, you're a, if you can apply via a homestead, um, tax exemptions, uh, that's a totally different rates on there. So this is the, probably the best way to find out. You come to the Lexington County website and on the left side you will see that there is a tax estimator for real estate. We'll click on that and it shows you just the basic uh, entries on here but let me show you how it all works. For instance, if it's a $150,000 home and I'll put a general school district one, but there's, if you're in the town of any of the Springdale, Casey, Gilbert, Pillion, it's different millage rates on there. So you need to make those adjustments per the area school district that you will be in for that home. And the property type could be for real estate or for mobile homes. So real estate may include um, uh, generally single family homes. And legal residents, we'll put them in that first. And homestead, if you're 65 or totally disabled or legally blind, you get some tax uh, credits on there. So for a $150,000 house, that's your primary residence. Let's calculate. As you can see here from the estimated value for 150,000, school district one as your primary residence, it'll be $759.32. That will be your taxes that you'll be paying for that property. Now, in the case that it's an investment property, that means that it's not your legal residence and that you're renting it out. Then you just put no, calculate it again. And here we have $3,592.78. So if you're considering buying investment property and renting them out, this is you need to account for this big expense. It's actually five times the amount of a legal residence would be. So it's a big chunk of your uh, rent. It's going to go to some of your taxes over there that needs to get paid off. The other thing would be the homestead. For instance, if you qualify for this, uh, it's a great discount. Let me show you how it is for $150,000 property and you do qualify for homestead your taxes will be $399.76. So it'd be a, it's about a $300 discount from a legal residence. So you can find this on the Lexington County website. It's a great tool just to figure out taxes or if you're looking for investment properties, that's probably a great tool just to calculate your expenses for taxes as well. Hope this was helpful to you and look forward to you in the next video.